What's up guys, RhinoGT4 here, bringing you my newest Let's Play of NASCAR Dirt 2 Daytona. This game is, if I remember correctly, was released for both the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo GameCube, if you can't tell by the button prompt at the bottom right, I'm playing the GameCube version. I don't know why I got this for the GameCube as opposed to the PS2, I just kinda did. So, uh, yeah, NASCAR Dirt 2 Daytona is actually my favorite NASCAR game of all time, really. And it's, it's pretty fucking great. I know, uh, y'all want me... Y'all. So this is an NASCAR game, let's talk like a redneck, yo! No. I'm sure everybody wants me to get, jump right into the career mode, but I'm a completist. I have to do other shit, and there's other shit to do in this game. Family... Unlockables. And points and shit to get. And yeah. <coughs> God damn it. Every time, gotta fucking sneeze. I hate it. Alright, let's just, uh... Fix my uh, shit here. All right, that looks good. That looks good. To edit my name, make sure that is correct. Let's make it Rhino. Yeah, sound controller, all that's good. Make everything widescreen. Oh my god. All right, that looks good. Okay, options out of the way. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. What we're gonna do for this first segment, as you haven't noticed, is... We have... These Beat the Heat Challenge is and shit, and they're pretty cool. So that's what I'm gonna do for this first segment, is the first, uh... Thing of Beat the Heat Challenges. What I'm <laughs> going to do now, though... I'm gonna treat them like licenses in Gran Turismo series, in the fact that... I'm gonna go to post-commentary for these, because I need a lot of concentration in order to, uh... And the gold on these. Because they're actually quite difficult, so uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it and uh, post commentary go. Alright, so post commentary, yay! So let's just uh, throw the action into the beat to heat. We have a little couple cutscenes here. Welcome to another exciting season of NASCAR Heat from Infograms. This year we've got a whole new crop of exciting racing scenarios for you to master. One of the huge additions to the franchise this year is the inclusion of three more NASCAR racing leagues. For the first time anywhere, you'll have the chance to test your skills at everything from the short dirt tracks of the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series to the wide world of open wheel racing in NASCAR's Feather Light Modified Series. Heck, if you're good enough, you might even get to try Daytona without a restrictor plate in a NASCAR Craftsman truck. Let's not forget the big guns of the NASCAR Cup Series. Think you have the horsepower to master them all? The only way to find out for sure is to strap yourself in and try to beat the heat. Well, that's about as good of an intro to this game as anybody could ever put. Well put, Alan. So, uh, yeah, we have a bunch of different categories for Beat the Heat, but this segment we're doing the basics, of course, and uh, with our first challenge, Dundas Dirt. This season, NASCAR Heat is getting down and dirty by letting you compete in NASCAR's grassroots series, the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. The series is run all over the country on a variety of tracks. In NASCAR Heat, all of the Weekly Racing Series will be run on dirt tracks. In this first challenge, it's your chance to get a feel for what it's like to drive on the dirt. You're coming into the final turns at Dundas County Fairgrounds and need to reach the finish line in less than 13.5 seconds for a bronze, 12.75 for a silver, a time of 12.4 seconds will earn you the gold. There we go, and uh, just throw right into it. So yeah, the final turn at this track, and this is the setup I'm going to use. Cockpit, of uh, course, manual transmission, and uh, yeah, these first few uh, challenges are really fucking easy. Well, not really easy, but they're not that bad to get gold and shit, and yeah. Next challenge, go. The NASCAR Featherlight Modified Series is actually the oldest division of race cars in the history of NASCAR, and the only open-wheeled series in the NASCAR Touring Division. Modifieds are the most unusual looking cars that race under the NASCAR name, looking something like a cross between a sprint car and a dragster. It's the only tour in which the cars don't have fenders, so go easy on the bumping. In this scenario, you need to take a smooth, fast line around turns three and four at the New Hampshire International Speedway. You need to cross the finish line in 17 seconds for a bronze, 16.6 for the silver, and if you can achieve a blazing 16.3 seconds, you'll take home the gold. Now you may have to take a few cracks at this one to learn the feel of the car. NASCAR Featherlight Modifieds are very light, responsive vehicles, and they can take some getting used to. Good luck! So yeah, 
Anyways, I like how in the uh, video it shows the logo for NASCAR Heat 2, which this game is, but I guess they changed the name of it after they made those. I don't fucking know. Anyways, another quick, uh, not really easy, but quick mission. Just one turn, go. Just try to learn the car. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So, um, to the next mission. Guess what it's going to be? It's going to be more of the same. Hello, race fans. I'm Ken Schrader. Besides being a Winston Cup driver, I'm also the owner of Schrader Racing and sometimes the driver of the number 52 Federated Auto Parts truck. The Craftsman Truck Series started in 1995 and has quickly become one of NASCAR's premier racing series. Craftsman trucks run on many of the same tracks as the Cup cars, but as you will quickly find out, due to totally different aerodynamics and a lower compression engine, they're a whole new beast you'll need to learn to tame. For your first taste of truck racing, see how well you can handle turns 3 and 4 at Martinsville. Turning 13 seconds flat for a bronze, 12.6 for silver, and if you're a real ace, turn in a time of 12.3 for the gold. I'm going to let you drive a number 52 Federated Auto Parts truck. Just make sure you don't scratch the paint. Good luck. Haha, <laughs> comedy, don't scratch the paint. Haha, <laughs> anyways. See, I'm more the same. Driving the truck now. Just last turn at Martinsville. Oh, God. These post commentary segments are going to be horrible, but I'll actually, you know, be able to talk about shit once I get into the meat of the game, aka the career mode. So that's three down, three to go in the uh, basics. Okay, now you've had a taste of our three new series. Let's turn up the heat a notch. For your fourth challenge, we're returning to the NASCAR Featherlight Modified League, and we're going to put you behind the wheel with one lap to go and three cars ahead of you at Mankato Raceway. Use the lightweight and great handling of the modified car to weave your way to the front. Pass one car for the bronze, two for the silver, and if you can overtake all three, you win the gold. And now we have a passing challenge. Which, uh, actually, these can be pretty difficult. You have to actually, uh, go pretty goddamn fast through these turns. Overall, these Beat the Heat challenges are really fucking hard to gold. And they're actually pretty satisfying when you get the gold because you work hard for those motherfucking things. There we go. Got in the lead, passed all three cars, and challenge complete. Bada bing, bada fucking boom. Not much else to say about it. So, uh, next challenge, go! Yeah. Nice job in that modified. Think you can do as well in a NASCAR Craftsman truck? Well, let's try an almost identical scenario, this time at Dover International Speedway. The trucks have a lot more weight than the modified you just drove, but they also have a lot more power. Can you outsmart the other drivers and find a way to get to victory circle? Again, third wins the bronze, second the silver, and you need to beat them all to take the gold. This one's really fucking difficult. It just took me a number of tries to beat, but yeah. I actually took a line here that didn't really want to because I thought it'd be slower, but nope, just kind of squeak around the outside of the first truck. And uh, quickly get there, throw it into turn three. Uh, a little slow, but covered. Good draft, come on, beat him to the line. There we go, beat him. And uh, just for reference, let's show you how close that was. Going into last turn, catching him. Catching them, gonna get them, and bam, by that much. By like, I don't know, two inches, I beat that. So yeah, that was a pretty crazy finish. Drafting has become one of the more important aspects of NASCAR Winston Cup racing. For this challenge, we're gonna put you on the track for a little practice session at Talladega. You need to stay in the draft of Ryan Newman and cross the line in under 50.5 seconds to take the bronze. It may take a bit of practice, but once you master this technique, you'll be a powerful force on any super speedway. Breaking 49.6 seconds will earn you the silver. And to prove that you're the master of the plate tracks, follow Ryan to the flag in under 49.2 seconds. This one's probably one of the easiest missions because all you have to do is stay right behind the car in front and just uh, kind of keep smooth steering input through the turns. And yeah, just kind of stay in the draft. Look at that meter, make sure it's fucking up and shit, yeah. So yeah, overall, this is a easy mission to gold. I've actually done it twice in one attempt, or 
I've done it twice in two tries. You know, once was like a test to, you know, brush up my skills on this game. Then this one was in the recording. Yay! Haha! <laughs> so just gotta make it through the tri oval here. Got a little, uh, <laughs> little jittery there. But I made it just in time to get the gold. And that was the last of the basics. Complete. So we got our points from that to go towards the completion of this game because got to get all those points 150 and there we go so next time we're going to go to the dirt mission so stay tuned for that